Hey guys, Premier 91 and I'm talking about the Xbox Series X. A little bit about the PS5. For those who don't know, the Xbox will be using Seagate storage expansion cards for the Xbox Series X games. Apparently, based on Spawner's video, the HDD, I would presume that the SSD can't either, but I'm not sure about an external SSD drive, but the HDD external drives definitely cannot play Xbox Series X games or S games on them. So you basically, if you need any extra space to store your Xbox Series X or S games, right? You need a Seagate storage expansion card for it. Now, how much do they cost? Well, the one terabyte cost $219.99. Yeah, at least that's the pre-order price right now. So I recommend that all you guys who already have external HDDs and are planning to get the Xbox Series X, put all your Xbox One, Xbox 360, original Xbox games on the external HDD because you need to save that internal hard drive space for those Xbox Series X games because $219.99 for a terabyte do you know how long a terabyte goes I have the Xbox One S I have the 500 gigabyte internal hard drive space and then I have a two terabyte external hard drive and even I have to delete games sometimes to make room for other ones so to have only a terabyte of hard drive on the Xbox Series X right and to buy a $219.99 card with just a terabyte on it, that's not giving you much space. And, and, and it's not just the Xbox Series X. The PS5 apparently will not allow you to use even external SSD drives for their PS5 games. We're, I'm not sure yet what the PS5 is using instead of like external SSD and or HDD drives. But if they're anything like this, then storage for next gen is going to be expensive. You guys, we may have to adopt what my sister's fiance does. He actually doesn't have an external hard drive, at least hooked up to his console. He just deletes when he needs to delete and puts on when he needs to put on. So basically, he doesn't have much games on there at a time. He just like deletes certain games when he needs to play other ones and puts certain games on when he wants to play them. And a lot of us may be having to do this next generation because these cards are expensive. Hopefully, these cards will go down significantly in the future. And hopefully, we'll just come out with a big like three or two terabyte card because really, these I don't think people a lot of people are going to be able to buy these like that. And, and only God knows what the PS5 will bring out for their extra storage. Anyway, what do you guys think about this and the pricing? Are you guys going to buy these cards? Are you guys going to just try to make your one terabyte in the console last as long as you possibly can? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.